So kind of exciting, we're out here today for our first day of harvest. Um, and first thing that always comes in every year is gonna be the apples. And so right now we're uh, picking one of these trees that notoriously is getting done right about now. This year is maybe a couple weeks early. But we're going through really and just trying to pick the ripe apples on the tree and leaving the rest for a few more weeks. And they'll actually sit in the cellar for about two weeks before I'll end up pressing them. So letting them do a process called sweating, which releases more aromatics, more flavors, and also allows the sugars to rise a little bit. We farm them organically, and uh, some of them have uh, preceded us, but most of them we've planted ourselves, and it takes about five years to even get any fruit out of an apple tree. Annually, we spend a lot of time, about two weeks, with the crew of three that we use to thin the apple trees, as well as prune them. And uh, we're picking them now, which is about two weeks early than when we would normally harvest. Normally, we pick this first tree about August 15th, but here we are at the end of July picking it, and uh, looks like it's gonna be a great year on the apple front. When this leafed out and uh, it started to produce apples, it had about four times as many apples on each branch. Early in the spring, we remove all those little, all those small little apples right after they've formed uh, to prevent the branches from breaking. The weight of all that fruit would have broken these branches. This one there, Ryan. So what we're doing is we're going around to some of our younger trees right now just to check and see how they're tasting. A lot of them are maybe five, six years old. So they might only have 10, 15 apples on them. But we don't want those apples to go to waste. So we want to maybe pick them a little bit on the lighter, earlier side if we have to. So we're just kind of going through and we do it all by taste. So just try to figure out where they're at. 